What's up guys, John from Linksville here with another tutorial on our new T-Style XL. Uh, today, I figured I'd give you guys a little quick peek at the new DSP program we got running on this new XL, and Gen 6 will be the same thing. So hey, let's go look at that DSP. All right guys, new DSP. So. Uh, real quick, just a little added tutorial in this. In case you don't see the DSP on one of the home pages, um, it's as easy as swiping up from the bottom, uh, finding whichever app you want to put on the home page. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll add like Amazon Prime. You just grab and drag it, and then you can rearrange it. Just in case that DSP, because you notice ours is on the home page. If it's not on your home page, you can put it on the home page. We're going to hit, hit up DSP. And there's a couple pages that I'm going to show you. First, of course, is the EQ. Uh, here you're able to adjust. Uh, the EQ one step at a time, however you want. Just take the finger, uh, drag it where you want it. And then once you've got it set up, if you want to save, you hit save, and then you can choose custom one, two, or three, and that will be uh, now your save preset. Now I know it says preset one, two, and three on the left-hand side. Those are just custom presets made by our engineers that are outside the typical normal uh, setup of rock mode, classical, jazz, popular, vocal, or normal, which is usually a flat. Uh, these are just three other presets that they've kind of tweaked out and put in there in case you like them better. You do get three of your own. Uh, so if you're a guy that likes rock, country, and I don't know, smooth jazz, and you want those EQs a little different, you can set that. It's as easy as that. Put it where you want it, uh, hit save, and then you can go ahead and select that. Now, if you swipe the page one time, now here we are to our filters. Uh, this is where you're gonna get your low pass and your high pass filter. Um, and as well, where it says strong bass, it might say subwoofer by the time you watch this. Uh, that's gonna be your subwoofer uh, filter, depending on where you want your subwoofer cutoff. And then the gain down at the bottom is actually the subwoofer gain. Uh, so that will be your sub output RCA. If you're using Toslink, guys, all of those uh, variants don't happen in Toslink. Toslink is a digital signal, so you're not gonna be able to control your sub control. That all's gonna have to happen in whatever your DSP is, whatever your program or your system is that has got that toss link in it that's what's going to have to control your fading and all of that stuff so just just know that toss link doesn't allow that but if you're using rca that's going to be your sub control as far as your gain control it's just like a dial just drag it swipe it and then uh, our next page is our stage setting so this one's kind of cool anybody that's played around with any kind of time alignment where you're trying to get the uh, sound waves, maybe a very, very, I'm telling you, this is elementary explanation of time alignment. Uh, speakers move in and out, that's how they create sound, and they create waves. And depending on where you're at in that wave is how your ear hears it. So what happens a lot of times in a vehicle is you're closer to one speaker than you are another. And so when you are sitting in your driver's seat, you might have one sound wave from a speaker at its peak and another one at its valley. And it just kind of gives it an out of phase sound. It just it doesn't sound quite right. Um, and what time alignment does is what it does, it will delay uh, a speaker from moving so that you get the peak at uh, every speaker hits the peak at you. Um, but what's kind of cool about this one is rather than taking all of the time of measuring like a lot of DSPs will require you to do where you have to measure and do all the math. If you got one of our DSP amps, I actually tell you how to do that. Uh, but you should check out our DSP amps. Small plug for that. Uh, check out the video link right here. Cool. Okay. So real quick. So these dials up on top is actually how you can adjust it. So like if I wanted the stage set all the way to like front middle, I could take these first two numbers and set them at six. And you can see that little blue dial is moving around to where I want it. So um, it's going to be just playing around with it, guys. Figure out like, hey, man, where do I want the uh, the sound to come from? Where do I want it to be as far as the sound? And as you play around with this, you should be able to tell the difference as that ball moves around. Uh, depending on where you're sitting, you should be able to hear it. So if the ball is sitting in the middle and then you make the ball sit right over that driver's seat, you should get a better sound uh, because it is aligning the, the speaker coils to hit your ears at the right time. And uh, yeah, guys, that's just it, man. Super fun, kind of techie. Uh, a lot of guys like to play that. And then the last page is your gain control. Uh, so this is just so you can turn, it's kind of like a fader. Uh, but not, I don't know how to explain it, but it's not necessarily a fader because you're gain controlling each individual speaker. Uh, so for example, we've got a uh, Jeep JL, one of our show Jeeps, is, uh, our show vehicles is a Jeep JL. And anybody that's ridden in a Jeep knows 
when you have a sound bar that's like six inches from your ear and then you've got four inch speakers in the dash like you know five feet from your face uh those sound bar really overpower that front stage and it can kind of give you a a, a, a it, it's just a bad staging it's loud you'll hear it uh, but anybody that's an audiophile guys knows you want the music in front of you and beside you not behind you uh, so what you could do there is you could actually gain down the rears and let them come down so that there's a more balanced sound in it. Uh, so this will work just the same way. You just kind of turn that dial and uh, adjust those gains. So giving you guys some control, even within your stock system, this is gonna do some of these, it'll do the tweaking with even in the internal, internal amp. Uh, it'll adjust things on the RCA as well. Toss link though again, it, the toss link will follow the EQ, uh, but as far as like uh, aligning and stuff like that, it's digital. So that's gonna happen on a different side of things. But that is our new DSP on our T-Style XL as well as our Generation 6 T-Style. That's what we got going on. Hope you guys enjoy it. We will see you guys in our next video.